Well, hey YouTube, it's Steve at Thousand Year Home. So uh, this will be my stunning conclusion of the Lowe's delivery. So Jerome brought that delivery down just in time. I've had uh, rain ever since. So <clears throat> the windows are holding up reasonably well. Uh, I'm still getting a little bit of seepage. But one thing I needed to do from the Lowe's delivery is I, I saw at the time I was short one conduit bender that I need. Uh, I can't even start drilling holes <laughs> without that conduit bender because I, I need to fit, uh, fish it down uh, underneath the uh, underneath the floor. So my idea is to drill holes uh, wherever I put the supports, uh, put in two by fours, which I also didn't get, but they didn't charge me for. And um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up my camera. Let me rotate. I'm going to set up this camera. I'm going to go through the box. I'll probably set it high speed, I suppose. Um, and I'll use the cell phone that I'm, I'm talking to you on as the, um, and I'll go through the inventory and I'll physically count and make sure I got uh, everything that I need to uh, finish this Connex for electrical work. Uh, this is a red letter day. If I could get this done and get my two by fours in here, um, then I'd be real close uh, to be moved in. I wanted to be moved in the end of August. Today is August 31st. And in a lot of ways, the container looks exactly the way it has been for a little bit. But every day I'm doing doing work. So let me talk about that for a little bit. So uh, it's 5 o'clock. I just got off. In fact, I got off late because I was doing some uh, cloud work for uh, to make a living. I have to make a living. This uh, house is a project. Uh, and of course it's not. I need a place to live. So uh, a little more than a project, but it is. I, I don't have a full eight hour day every day. Uh, none of the weekends have been to myself. And anytime they've had something that's come up, I uh, went, picked up my daughter's horse, for example, and that cut into a half, whole half day uh, to move a horse. So, And it's always something like that. Now I like living, but it's definitely one man building a house. Uh, you need to uh, have a, that bit of time. I, I don't know, like, I don't know, three months sabbatical would have been nice. Uh, but I don't know, I'm, I'm, the parts aren't coming in on time. I, everything's a fight. Every little thing's a fight. And uh, I'm finding as an owner builder that that's true, that I'm at the bottom of the pile, right? And even all the gravel in the county, because the growth is so explosive in this county, I can't get gravel. It's all bought. And so uh, that puts me in a bind. <laughs> that puts all, all self-owner uh, builders in a bind, not just a tiny room. Now, this is the advantage of a uh, container home, right? In that I've, I've got four walls. They're all straight. They're up. And so people who malign a container home, uh, listen, just sitting here on blocks, I'm way ahead, way ahead. So uh, the uh, me being behind is an arbitrary uh, timeline that I've imposed on myself. And um, and deliveries like this where I get um, not every I didn't get my wood <laughs> again. I have to cut my own wood and that takes a full day to fell a tree, a full day to move it around, you know, cut the branches, move it a full day to market and saw it. I, I just, uh, you know, full day for one tree, you know. And I need 40. <laughs> so, uh, and then uh, my foundation is behind. And that's a big deal on this because I need the house level and uh, stable. So I could start working on the outside walls and the uh, on the ceiling. So uh, back to this low shipment. Let me Anyway, it's evening and it was 117 today. So I tell everybody I go in like a nuclear jumper. I, I go in for 15 or 20 minutes and I work in here and then I jump out. So, uh, but any, I've got all these smalls in here I need to count and reconcile. And so I'll turn on again my little camera there and, and we'll do it in quick time and see how that works out. So, I don't know where the paper is anymore, you know. Uh, the Jerome, the shipper, took my paper. So what I did is I grabbed my order here and I copied and pasted it. All right, well, then I'm going to go through. So I have four of the 10-foot EMT conduits. I know I have those. One, two, three, four. Yes, sir. I'll cut those. Put a check mark next to them. Oh, man. You know, fucking life. Everything's got to be so hard. Two gang, metal, great way, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go through this whole thing and, and do all that. And hopefully my...
my uh, hopefully my camera will stay lit. We'll find out. So I'm gonna attempt to narrate uh, through the fast forward parts while um, explaining what's going on. But otherwise, you'll be bored to death, right? So I cut a lot of this out. It took 20 minutes to do this inventory. There's my 50 foot tape, uh, fish tape that I thought was missing. It took 20 minutes to do this inventory outside of just storing it. So, um, just this. I thought that was an invoice. These will save nope. some time. <laughs> I'm still working from the cell phone. Those uh, pigtails already done. <clears throat> so while I'm finding all of the uh, wire and counting the conduit, there's my fill chart. It's is AMT conduit I'm using. I'm using 14 and 12 gauge wire. So uh, 12 of one kind or nine of the other or a mix. So I have two 20 amp circuits that I'm planning to use for air conditioners, perhaps, or whatever. Uh, the bathroom is not in here. I don't have ground fault completed yet. Um, but this is for the everything else inside of the uh, um, inside of the shipping container, besides the um, bathroom. So the, a lot of those were my transfer switches. They were my uh, air conditioning brackets. They were uh, um, my 8,000 watt panel. So all of those things I found in there. In fact, I only missed the uh, conduit bender. It's the only thing that I'm missing. 30 amp manual switch. Right there, there's my manual transfer switch. <laughs> Treated lumber, one, two by four. I wanted 40, one. Check, I got one. Man, I'm gonna have to drive and go get that lumber. 15 amp, three way rocker light switch. Six pack, I'm surprised I got a six pack. Yeah, six packs white and it was ivory, but those 20 amp outlets are white. So I'll probably have to take those back. Four by four by eight foot cedar. One, two, three, four, five, ten total. Ten order. That'll save me some time. Half inch by five metal conduit, quantity ten. Hold on, they're over here. Ten it is. <clears throat> Fifty foot, the solid green wire. Fourteen gauge, fifty foot. Half inch, ninety die cast zinc elbows. So I did end up missing one of the conduit uh, offsets, but other than that, that was all I was missing in the conduit bender. So just one pack. And uh, uh, the conduit is the next step. Now I still need the wood to hang it on, so I'm going to have to go to Lowe's anyway. But uh, good job on all the conduit. This was a complex order, so it was nice to have it all. I saw some exterior wood screws in here, so I'm going to hit check on there. I think I already started using them. Conduit cutter and scorer. -er. Check. Goes with the tools. Typed in nine. I'm missing there. So I know. All right. 50 foot of black. 14 gauge. Like this will be it. Yeah. 50 foot of white. 14 gauge. 50 foot of green. There we go. Got all my 20 amp stuff together. All right, I got to tap out. The fact out. that I tap out is, is reality. You'll see me come back. I'm still pretty toasted when I come back in here. So probably right, 120 in this thing. It. Tired, but I'm getting there. It says six of the three-way light switches. I would say that is true. It really is for real that I use this like nuclear jumper. Ten of the light switch plates. That's true. Ten of the 15-amp outlets. I go in for a few minutes and Eight cook, of the ceiling then I come boxes. back out. I don't know about 15 that. minutes in, 15 minutes out in this temperature. And this is uh, like 6 o'clock at night. You would think it would not be this hot. It is this hot. Oh, that's good news. So I will post at the end of this in the that comment section fans. all everything I ordered. This is an entire electrical system that Three you will the need for a... Um, Assuming you're off-grid using solar, I'm not hooked to the grid at all, uh, but it's everything you need to wire your electrical outlets. Uh, three circuits, two bedrooms, and a bathroom. Um, and then, like I said, I didn't get the ground fault stuff wired in here. I'll take my time on the bathroom. People find that the ground faults sometimes are too sensitive. 
Hey, I'm through at internet. Yeah. And I didn't die of a heat stroke. So there's my celebration. I'll post this uh, at the end as well. So here's everything in my orders. And again, this was enough for three rooms inside the Connex. Uh, I know I'm going to add more conduit. I just wanted to get the back end of the um, Connex done right now. In addition, I put a, a total amount in there. So I would say this is 40 or 50% of the total electric in there, but it was $3,200.